Okay, wait, let me, let me, let me start over. <laughs> oh, I got that highlighter all over. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mom. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup haul. I recently purchased a bunch of things from a couple of different stores. I think there's some stuff from Sephora, Ulta, MAC, Basically, I got some stuff from a bunch of different places and thought it would be fun to share them with you guys. Also, I apologize that this video is going up kind of late. I don't really have like a set schedule for videos, but I try to do in between like Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday every week. So I don't know, I guess that's much of a schedule as I have. I don't really like being under pressure to post things, especially when it's just for fun. So, um, yeah, I'm not like a makeup artist or anything. This is just for fun. Sorry if I'm disappointing anyone by not having something posted at the exact same time every week, but thank you for watching anyway. So enough scrambling, let's get on to the haul. So I'm gonna go through these products as I would apply them. I don't have any real face products. I just have a bunch of highlighters. There's probably the most highlighters out of anything that's in this haul, except maybe some lip product. I purchased two highlighters from Makeup Revolution. This one is the Vivid Baked Highlighter in Radiant Lights. And I'll just give you a quick swatch. It's like this pinky champagne color that is just like a really pretty sheen on the skin. Can you even see that? I don't know if it's coming off very well on the in camera, but it's this gorgeous sheen. I haven't tried yet, but I'm sure it'll look beautiful. Then also from Makeup Revolution, I got the, uh, what is this called? The Skin Kiss Highlighter in Ice Kiss. First of all, this thing is huge. Like comparing it to this one or like any other highlighter for that matter, this is huge. I'm wearing this on my cheeks today on top of something else, which I'll mention in a second. It's this very beautiful icy highlight. The texture inside is beautiful too. Like this uh, is so pretty. Like that's it right there. Definitely gonna be using this some more often. These are the first items that I've purchased from Makeup Revolution and I've been dying to do a like British brands uh, makeup video like testing British band but <laughs> testing British brands of makeup so if that's something that you're interested in or if I have any subscribers from the UK which I don't think I do but if I do then let me know because I would love to hear either your recommendations or if you would like me to do that kind of video so underneath that highlight I have this this I purchased uh, from the Sephora website the other day this is the RMS Beauty Champagne Rosé Luminizer and I've heard tons of people rave about this on YouTube so I decided to get it for myself it's basically like a um, like a cream highlight that you can either wear by itself for like a really pretty natural almost wet look which I know that doesn't sound natural at all but it's just like this really beautiful sheen of of light I guess of like glowing uh, I'll do a little swatch of it as well see you're not really going to be able to see it because like it's this right here so it's like this sheen that if you wear by itself is you know not too blinding but if you wear it underneath another highlight then you'll see them both like they'll both just pop like crazy I'll leave all the prices of all the products in the description box below, but this was a bit pricey, I will say, just for a luminizer, but I, I think it was worth it. I've only used it a couple times, but so far, I really like it. I bought a couple of things from the Tarte website when they had a sale the other day. One of them was the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter in the shade Stunner. This is what it looks like and I'll give you a swatch of that as well. It's such 
a pretty color. I feel like these are all so light and my skin is so light that you can't even really see it all too well, but that's it there. I decided to get this shade because the other light shade looked a little too glittery for me, and so far I'm really happy with my choice. And then also from Tarte, <laughs> another highlighter. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops. This is a highlighter, but you could also put it in your foundation to make your foundation like super glowy. And it comes in this little medicine dropper. And like, uh, like even it in the bottle, oh, dropped some, <laughs> is just like, it looks like mermaid relate, I don't know. Let's try to do a little swatch. Like, yeah, these swatches are not coming very visible on my skin. Trust me, they're all super pretty. This is another one that could be like a super pretty sheen if you don't apply all too much. Like if you mix it in with your foundation, it'll just give you like this nice glow. Or if you really like build it up, it'll be like crazy. The next item is a perfume. Now, okay, I wasn't gonna explain this like just yet, but I was born without a sense of smell. So I, can't smell anything. I can taste as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I wouldn't really know the difference because I've never had anything to compare it to. Yeah, so I was born without a sense of smell. I still can smell. I'm gonna try to go back to like the nose doctor, see if they can do anything about it. I think the medical name for it is anosmia, like no nose. I guess no sense of smell, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so I can't smell, which means that I don't really wear perfume all that often, uh, just because I kind of forget. I mean, I wear deodorant, so I mean, not that you would be able to tell through the video anyway, but just in case. So when I get samples of it, I think it's cool, it's great. I have someone else smell it for me and just by like other people's recommendations, I'll use like one over the other, but I don't really go out of my way to purchase a perfume, is basically what I'm trying to say. But anyway, Kathleen Lights recently posted a video about all of her favorite perfumes, and one of the ones that she mentioned was Stella by the brand Tatcha? Tatcha? Toka? I don't know, this one? <laughs> T-O-C-C-A. When I was buying stuff off of the Sephora website the other day, I noticed that the rewards that you can get with your Beauty Insider points were some really cool rewards. So I decided to include the products that I got from using my points in this video as well, even though they are sample sizes. So, long story short, <laughs> This was one of those rewards that you could claim. Kathleen described it as like her favorite perfume to wear in the summer. And that she always gets compliments on it. And I figured if I'm basically getting it for free, why not try it out? So that's this. <laughs> I'll leave the notes and stuff probably like right here so that you can get an idea of what it smells like since I can't really tell you, which I know people are gonna be like, that doesn't make any sense at all, but it's true. Anyway, this video is going to be long because all I've been doing is talking. The next uh, three items are all eyeshadow palettes, and do I need three new eyeshadow palettes at the same time? Absolutely not. But did I buy them anyway? Yes, I did. I have a problem. Again. Okay, so the next item is another item from Makeup Revolution. I had been wanting to buy this for a while because everyone has raved about the Kat Von D Shade and Light uh, Contour Palette and Makeup Revolution has a dupe for it which basically like it's almost the same exact thing like design wise and I really wanted to try this out. I don't have the Kat Von D one 
yet anyway like I do want to buy it but we'll see I do want to be able to compare those but I figured for now this was only $15 and I think the Kat Von D one is more around like 40 to 50 so if it is a good dupe like that's a really good price point your matte neutrals just like the Kat Von D one and yeah I haven't tried this yet either I've just swatched a few shades but I'm excited to try that this next palette oh my god I've wanted this for so long and I don't know why I just never got around to buying it but I finally did and honestly I think that this is my new favorite like holy grail palette and I've only used it twice this is the Tartlet in Bloom palette by Tarte and uh, it's just it's just so pretty oh my god look at those shades there are so many beautiful neutral shades that you can use to make like a very natural look but then there's those like three metallic shades that you can also add like a pop let me just swatch swish let me just swatch some of these for you like look at those super pigmented super beautiful and the other thing i love about it well there's just so many things i love about it it has a huge mirror it has a really dark color a really light color it has a highlight shade just everything that you could want in a palette this one has and i just i'm obsessed uh love it definitely going to be using this in some kind of tutorial sometime soon so make sure you subscribe if you'd like to see that so there's that. Then the final eyeshadow palette that I purchased is another one that I've been super excited to get. This is one of the brand new Lorac Sunset palettes. This is the Mountain Sunset one. Basically, they just came out with three new unzipped palettes that are based on different kinds of sunsets. So I think there's a beach one or like an ocean one, a mountain one, and I don't know what the other one was, but three of them. This one was kind of the most cool toned one, and if you've watched any of my videos or you've been looking at my makeup today, you know I'm a bit more of a cool toned girl than Worms. I do love Worms, but anyway. This is what the palette looks like. Um, I used a couple of these shadows on my eyes today to make this look. And so far, I really do like this palette. I love the way my eye look came out. I thought that the shadows were super pigmented, super easy to apply and to blend. I'll give you some more swatches of colors that I didn't use. So those three are from the Lorac Sunset palette. The only thing that I'm not too crazy about is it doesn't come with a mirror and it was a pretty pricey palette to not come with a mirror, but what, what are you gonna do? Oh, but what I did think was cool is that it did come with this little behind the scenes eye primer. I used this underneath the eyeshadow today and I mean, it all went on nicely. I don't know if it really prolongs the wear of the shadow, but I thought that was cool that it came with this little sample. Moving on to the next items. The next two things are eyeliners from NYX. I bought both of these at the Ulta store. The first one is one of the faux blacks. This is in the shade Black Olive. And I'm actually wearing this on my waterline and on my tightline today. I don't know if you can tell. It's got like just a tiny bit of green in it. And if you watched my other video where I tested a bunch of Tarte makeup, I used this eyeliner and mascara that was supposed to be really nice for brown eyes. They were both kind of on the green spectrum. So I thought that this olive green eyeliner would have a similar effect to where it makes my brown eyes pop. And I, I don't know, I think that it worked. I think that they're a bit lighter. And then in another one of my videos, I think it was the 4th of July tutorial, I mentioned that I don't have a white or a cream eyeliner to put on my waterline to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. So I purchased one of those as well. This is the retractable eyeliner in white. So these are those two eyeliners. Super nice, glide on beautifully. 
The next few items are some more of the rewards that I got from being a beauty insider at Sephora. So the first one is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This I know tons of people rave about and I had been wanting to purchase so when I saw that I could get a free sample I was super excited. I just swatched that terribly but <laughs> there it is. A mess. Then I was able to get two mascaras. The Benefit Roller Lash, which I know tons and tons of people rave about and with good reason because this is beautiful. I used it a couple times so far and it does a beautiful job of making them more voluminous and longer and super easy to apply. And also I got the Buxom Mascara. This is in the shade Blackest Black. This is the mascara that I have on my eyes today. And I can't, I don't know which one I like more. I will say that the Buxom one is just a tiny bit easier to work with on my lower lash line just because of the shape of the wand. Like, look at that. Super, super cool. Both of them are beautiful. Okay, we are getting down to the end. So sorry this video is super long, but I hope that you're enjoying it. The final couple of products are all the products. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the one that I have on my lips right now. This is the NYX Lingerie Lip in Delicate Lust. It's number 21. So far I like it. I mean, it's. I feel like it's fading pretty quickly and I just kind of put it on before this video started. And the wand is like super cool, but weird. <laughs> but uh, overall I really like the color. And uh, uh, that's a little too much. Yeah, so I just reapplied. It's super comfortable. Um, it does dry all the way matte. Also from NYX, I purchased the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade alien which is straight up black it's that one right there i love wearing black lipstick i never really have all that many chances to wear it i mean i guess i could wear it during the day like whenever but i do want to try to get black liquid lipsticks or black lipsticks in general from like a bunch of different brands and then kind of compare them all and see which one I think is the blackest, which one I think lasts the longest, and which one is just like my favorite overall. So if you'd be interested in seeing that, let me know also because that's something that I will probably end up doing in the future. The final NYX product is the NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Haze. Of course, it's a grazy color. It's like a gray purple color right there I wanted to try each of the NYX formulas and that's why I bought the three of them <laughs> if you guys have any of these in different shades that you love or other NYX products that you think I should try let me know Okay, the next three products are all from MAC. They are MAC lipsticks, and I've swatched them here for you. I got the shades Velvet Teddy, Whirl, and Stone, and so far I've worn these first two, and they're super pretty. They look really nice on the lips. They apply wonderfully. I will say after a couple hours, you do get that like gross line on the inside of your mouth. I still like them and I will continue to wear them. Also from Tarte, I purchased this guy. This is the Tarte Tartus Lip Paint in the shade Bestie. And I wore this yesterday. This one also kind of dries out your lips just a little bit, but for the most part, um, I think the shade is beautiful and I'm willing to deal with it to get this pretty color, so. And finally, the last product in this haul is another item that tons of people love and I am one of them. This is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita. I had to have it. I, it's just a staple that I feel like so many people have in their makeup collection, all for a good reason. I love the packaging to everything Kat Von D, but this is it right here. And there you go. <laughs> My hand looks so funny. 
All right, guys, thank you for sticking around this long if you're still watching. These were a bunch of the items that I recently purchased. If you've tried any of these out, let me know what are your thoughts on them. Uh, are there any other items that you've recently tried out that you think I have to try? Let me know in the comments below. I will have all of the information about these and the links as well as the rest of the items that I'm wearing on my face in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love it and appreciate it so much if you liked and subscribed to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.